Welcome back to Eccentric Social Vibrations. I am Blue Daisy Love 7. Let's see what's going on, Libra. Libra, I welcome you here with positive energy, positive commenting is welcome. Y'all know all the tarot stuff. Let's get on into this. Okay, you could be have Taurus in your um, chart, sun, moon, rising, or be dealing with a Taurus very soon here. Okay, but this is saying that focus on what it is that you really want. You may want a more traditional type of dynamic or a love situation for yourself. However, you do seem to be single at this time. Hear me out with love. Okay, I feel like you're deep. You're probably a spiritual person or in a leadership role of some kind, the head of the household, you know, yada, yada, yada. But I feel like you have new beginnings here. Um, and I do see a hurtful ending here that turns something um, to take the edge off um, that comes to mind, applied as you see fit. But I feel something come, I feel like something is coming to take the edge off with the two of swords uh wands in reverse it's a stress relief card when it's the right way but i feel like you are ready you know your partnerships um your partner is ready although you have not met them yet i do feel that y'all have not met but i feel like you are about to cross paths and run into each other okay you could be feeling young again also, with the son of baskets, I'm feeling like a very attractive couple, a very active couple. Maybe travel, physical activity um, is of mutual interest here. Very fun. I feel like you like um, to look good. You know, you like to look fly, okay? Maybe you have on your Sundays best when you meet this person. Or this person could be very stylish, okay, with the pink up there and then the yellow dress. Um, any of those could be your favorite colors, pink or yellow, maybe even gold. But I feel like you have taken too much um, things in the past, things that hurt you with this past situation that didn't work out. I feel like you get things you get more things this time around it's like four more things that are coming for you this could be different things um different people the number four but a four a total of four good things that are coming your way so take it as you see fit i also felt like you had Maybe you even had up to four different things that hurt you in the past, like one hurt after another, okay? But you're moving forward, you're releasing all of that, you know, hurtful endings, you know, you're moving past all of that to a happier, better new beginning. But this time, I feel like when love comes around with your new beginning, this is just going to be a better opportunity for you, a better love opportunity, more attraction, more excitement, okay? And also, I feel like how you carry and how you love for yourself is definitely how you will attract this person. It's so cliche, but that's very important because when you start to do that and even when you heal certain parts of yourself, it attracts a different type of person, okay? But that is a big part of how I feel like you or they will pull each other in, you know, hold me close, darling. Spiritual changes are coming also as well with the branch and the tree. I definitely feel like, and there's something with the moon cycles as well. Look at the moon cycles around her head. Okay, something with the moon cycles. Wings, okay, bike riding, earth angels, any of that could be importance to you. You could be an earth angel. I definitely feel like that. But I feel like the only thing I see here um, that is a cause for concern is you being okay with change. Fear not because things may take off very fast in this relationship. And I feel like you will have to make a very important decision when it comes down or when the time comes. Okay, not now, but soon. Kind of like you're at the crossroads and you have to pick which way to go. <laughs> and I feel like you're. that's where I see you at. And I feel like you're going to go 
in a good direction. I see you being faced with, you know, one or a couple things, just having to make a very important decision. This could be definitely about love or not. It doesn't involve, it does involve some type of good opportunity for sure. It does. Um, for you to pursue um, some type of opportunity. But I feel like you may feel a bit naive or have, you know, innocence or purity about yourself, earth angels, or just be a spiritual person in general, if not that. Um, but I feel like you are facing or stepping into the unknown, the abyss, okay? Definitely had some crisis. But I feel like you've been in the now and you're coming out brand new, um, brand new beginnings are about to unfold in your life, okay, Wody? I feel like you're ready to live, okay, out and um, achieve more for yourself, and you will. This is also saying take a leap of faith, adventure, travel. Again, excitement is coming into your life. Again, you may be a very traditional person or like to stick to your traditions, and that's cool, baby. I do believe... Um, this says do believe in yourself a little bit more and stick to those if that's what you feel like, okay? This says that you need to use your discernment. Pay attention. There could be strange things going on around you, okay? You could be a teacher, a leader, or uh, write poetry. You could be just a deep person, a philosopher, okay, a coach. Um, but I feel like you take pleasure in certain things, okay? And um, wisdom and knowledge, you take pleasure in those things. And I feel like you're a no-nonsense person, okay? Your personal beliefs are definitely changing for new love, though, with new partnerships. Continue on your self-love journey. <clears throat> Excuse me. I apologize. Um, because that's a forever thing, you know, your spiritual journey and your self-love journey. That's a forever thing in and outside of whatever partnerships that you encounter in your lifetime. But I feel like you may enjoy outside activities. Do get ready for romance to be swept off of your feet and falling in love again, okay, with the sun of baskets. Also, I feel like I know outside of love you may have felt like, you know, you weren't progressing or as much um, as you want to, like, Things were not moving as fast as you wanted them to or something like that. Um, but again, relief is here. Uh, and it's all and it's coming again. Some type of relief taking the edge off in a positive way. OK, is here and coming. But I feel like you have had to deal with crisis. OK, enough. Hurtful times are ending. Rough times, troubling times, hard times. That's over. Um, but you're coming out, you're in, you've endured, you know, some storms and you are just like, you're passing your test, you're passing on through, just take a leap of faith, apply that as you see fit, because you know what that means. Okay. Your discernment, but definitely expect new love and change. And that's pretty much it. Take care. Like, share, subscribe, join the eccentric bunch. This has been your mini message for today. I know I said I was going to be more consistent. I had to go through a little bit of healing again from a loved one. I don't know if y'all know, but I had a fiance that passed away about a year and a half ago. And it still bothers me sometimes. But, hey, we're going to get through this. I'm going to get through this. But that don't mean that I can't come on here and deliver these beautiful love messages to you because I'm hopeful, and I want you to have the best, and you will. Again, take a leap of faith. Good luck. Take care. Come again.